In 2009, a dimensional shift occurred in the Boldenia Republic. This damaged the ecological system of the Cretaceous period, thus endangering the creation of mankind. To avoid this catastrophe, the Senate of the United States of America executed a project codenamed Noah's Ark Plan. Its mission was to send the Cretaceous creatures to the future. Once the crisis passed, the Cretaceous creatures were to be returned to their original time.
that sound? Knowing what happened, where I am, ah, I might as well be dead. What? Tell me. Tell me something. Anything. Dimensions. Chasm. Dimensions? Chasm? Lost. In hyperspace. 
lost in hyperspace. Ugh, I don't understand at all. In the year 2009, a new energy source codenamed Third Energy accidentally overflowed and caused a dimensional time warp. This devastated our timeline by inflicting serious damage on the ecological system of the Cretaceous period, almost 65 million years ago. We discovered that the damage would eventually jeopardize the creation of mankind. Therefore, in order to avoid the catastrophe, we executed a project codenamed the Noah's Ark Plan. The mission was to send the dinosaurs living in the Cretaceous period into a future point in the timeline, which had a similar environment. Once we restored the ecological system, the dinosaurs would be returned to their original time. The project was proceeding perfectly. We sent the dinosaurs into the future, three million years ahead of our present time. This allowed the dinosaurs to avoid the catastrophe of their ecological system. However, an accident occurred while we were returning the dinosaurs to their original time. All the personnel except myself who had taken part in the project were killed. After that, a machine called the Mother Computer supervised the project. The Mother Computer started the malfunction and caused another dimensional time warp. Instead of sending the dinosaurs back to their original time, the time warp sent the dinosaurs to hyperspace. Now you are in hyperspace with the dinosaurs. I'm Dylan Morton, the last survivor of the Noah's Ark plan. Wait, are you trying to tell me that I'm not in 1943 anymore? How is that possible? What? Where are you going to take me? Papa! P Papa! Huh? Mike, you seem to have found Paula, but Trinity is coming. Leave there as soon as possible. First, tell me who you are, and what is a Trinity? My name is Dylan Morton. Papa! Papa! <laughs> so, your father is the one who got me involved in all of this. Trinity moves under the command of the Mother Computer. The Mother Computer? I'll transmit the details to you, but you must leave there ASAP and follow Paula's instructions. The Mother Computer decided that a leader dinosaur was needed to complete the Noah's Ark plan. The Mother Computer created a perfect dinosaur from DNA of the Troodon, which had high intelligence. The Mother Computer named the leader Trinity. The Mother Computer bestowed Trinity with the power to control all the dinosaurs at will. Trinity's mission parameters are simple. To kill anyone who stands in their way and preserve the lives of the dinosaurs. From this point of view, you and Paula, who threaten the dinosaurs right now, are seen as objects to be eliminated. Dead pretty badly. Paula! Let's run to that jeep! Hurry! Now!
Papa. contact with the hyperspace you are in. How convenient for you. You get to sit back and watch while we fight for our lives. This is not what you think it is. When the mother computer went out of control, I was left alone in this world. So what do you want me to do? You mentioned a catastrophe or something? There's a volcano close by. I want you to go down inside its crater. There you will find the mother computer. Debug and reconstruct the program, returning this timeless Onian island back to the Cretaceous period 65 million years ago, where it belongs. There is only a few minutes left for us. Got it. Why me? Why did you choose me? Intensive resistance from the mother computer can be expected. There was no way Paul would be able to carry out her mission alone. So I calculated and reached the conclusion that I could bring someone from the year 1943 to this porch, utilizing a time slip. There are lots of people living in 1943, you know? In this mission, extreme intelligence and warfare are required. Also, most important of all, the person has to be on the brink of his final hour when he is transported here. Final hour? I couldn't force someone who still had a long life ahead of him to come here. I couldn't guarantee that he would make it back. You mean, it's me. Because whether I die in 1943, or I die here, it doesn't make any difference. If this ground is not returned to its proper time within the next few minutes, the Earth will be destroyed by the contortion of the dimensions. I am counting on you. At my word. Stop it. I'm going to die, no matter what. Mike, Mike.
Give up. There's nothing you can do now. Paula? Is that it? I guess all you have to do now is press that key and everything will return to normal. This land will be sent back to the Cretaceous period, and I'll be sent back to 1943, where I'll be shot to death. Mike! There's no time. Do it, Paula. It has to be this way. Do it! as if you were staring off in another world. I was thinking about a woman. That's good. It's what you need. That's the best way to 